Hey everybody, this is Dave Hompes from hpylorisymptoms.com and just a very, very short video, probably only two, three minutes, uh, just to uh, ease your mind or just to discuss very quickly the relationship between um, H. pylori or Helicobacter pylori infection and stomach cancer. Now, in 2005, uh, two doctors from Australia, Dr. Marshall and Dr. Warren, they were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine for proving that H. pylori causes stomach ulcers. So they proved that this was the case. The theory had been out there for many, many years, a couple of decades in fact, but uh, Marshall and Warren proved that H. pylori causes ulcers, okay? Since then, there's been quite a lot of research done on uh, the relationship between H. pylori and possibly um, stomach cancer. And I get asked a lot via email, will I get cancer? if I have H. pylori? And the answer is not that simple because um, number one, there are different strains of H. pylori. So each individual H. pylori bug does not necessarily have the same impact on you. And number two, you're different from everybody else on the planet. You know, you're a unique individual. And there's nobody like you in the universe. So um, the fact that there are different H. pylori organisms and there are many different versions of you and I basically means that the relationship is complex. Now, some people may develop stomach cancer from H. pylori, but the vast majority of people probably won't. So if you're worried about this, then the, uh, uh, the real answer is that you know, H. pylori may cause stomach cancer, there's not even a 100% definite uh, cause-effect relationship yet, but what they have found is that some people with certain types of stomach cancer, when H. pylori is removed, the cancer goes away. Okay? So it's very, very important for you to take it seriously that some of these more serious issues can happen, and therefore if you have symptoms such as heartburn, reflux, um, constipation, bloating, digestive pain, etc., etc., and you know you have H. pylori or you want to find out what's causing those problems, that you take steps appropriately to either get rid of the H. pylori or find out what is causing the problem, okay? So don't be too concerned because a very small amount of people are likely to develop serious illnesses like stomach cancer, okay? But it's not worth the risk, so I highly recommend seeking um, either more medical counsel um, or you can go to my, uh, my hpylorisymptoms.com website where there is a ton of information on there um, about H. pylori and the experiences I've had in working with you know, hundreds, you know, thousands now of people um, who have that particular bug. So my name's Dave Hompez, I hope this has been useful to you and I'll hopefully see you at um, hpylorisymptoms.com.